Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome to a brand new series here on my channel. This is What Remains of Edith Finch. I've asked you guys recently what non-Sims games you want me to play and this was definitely highly requested. You guys know that I love my story-based games and I think this is just a story-driven exploration game and it definitely looks like it's up my street. One of you said it was very colourful and you definitely think I'd enjoy it. It's basically about this girl called Edith Finch who is the last surviving member of her family and she wants to know why. Also, I noticed that there's a molly down here, which means I already like this game. Although it's not spelt my way, mine's spelt with an IE, this is the average way of spelling it. Sorry to all of you who are molly with a Y, <laughs> but I've had this all my life and I'm an IE, so I hate this name, but I kind of love it because it's mine. Um, but we're gonna hop right on into it. So what remains of Edith Finch? What does remain of her? We're on a boat. That much I can see. We have a backpack. Ooh, we can zoom. Ooh, we have some flowers, some lilies. And we have a notebook that says Edith Finch, her journal. Oh, a lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just gonna start at the beginning with the house. Okay, so we're starting with the house. I hope this isn't too quiet for you guys. I always have to kind of like try and guess with these type of games. I mean, the first part, the audio is always a little bit off. Okay, so we're in a dark, a dark wooded area. Is that the house? I lived here until I was 11. Okay. But I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Oh, why wouldn't you be allowed in rooms in your old home? own home is what I'm trying to say. I don't understand. Like, they're clearly quite a well-off family. So maybe it's got something to do with that. Maybe they believe children should be seen and not heard. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. Seven years ago? Well, they ain't getting opened, are they? No siree. Can I take the paper? Nope. It's a cute little mailbox though. What's it got on it? A little stained glass window. Fancy ass mailbox right there. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Oh, Lewis. So she's the only one alive. No trespassing. Okay, well, this is my home. So is it technically trespassing if it's my own home? Oh, can I just stay here? It's gonna make me need a wee if I stay here. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. So this is the key? Thanks for showing me that, Edith. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Okay, so we have to find out. Oh, I'm, I'm choosing this way. I'm going down this way. I didn't even know that we could go down this way, but that's the way I'm choosing. Might not be the best idea. It's a very pretty game. I think it's set in the Washington. Is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Okay, so... The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. <laughs> I can As hear a frog. they're about to say something, but never do. I could hear a frog. No, I can't. Okay, this is a very pretty house. Look at how tucked away it is. Missing. Who's missing? Milton Finch. Is Milton one of our brothers? Our dad? Who knows? I should probably look at the family tree actually on the menu screen and uh, see who everyone is. We've got an old truck here. Okay, cool. We walked into a post. Oh, we could have gone that way as well. Well, we went the other way, so... The house was exactly like I remembered it. <gasps> the way I'd been dreaming about it. It looks like the burrow from Harry Potter. Does this not look like the burrow? 
The way that it stacks up like that. That's insane. Surely that wouldn't be able to stand. Is that Milton again? Oh, Milton's only young. Where the hell are our family, man? What is that? What are those? I have no idea what that is. It looks like a big crocodile head. I don't know why there'd be a big crocodile head, but that's what it looks like to me. What's that? Oh, it's a can of something. Okay. So, I'm guessing we actually have to walk up to the house. I just got distracted by a big crocodile head, as you do. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. It's a nice house. Bit weird. Bit misshapen. But don't now, judge a butch. As a 17 year old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Oh. Oh no. Is this going to be like Gone Home, where technically it's not a scary game, but it gives you the vibe that it's a scary game? Because she just said she was afraid. Oh, I don't want to go in. I hope this isn't scary. Whoever told me to play this game, and if I find out if it's a scary game, you're getting blamed. Put the key in the hole? I hope the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Oh, that would be too easy. Mm. Oh, oh no, I wanted to, uh... Oh. Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. Okay, there's a lot of books. They're clearly into their reading. I mean, they are called Finch. Isn't that uh, Atticus Finch? Isn't he, uh, I don't know what he was in. To Kill a Mockingbird, maybe? I don't know, I've never read To Kill a Mockingbird, so I wouldn't know. But Finch is like a literary name. So that would make sense. That's actually the first thing that came to my, uh, my thoughts when I heard the name Edith Finch. Oh. Oh, wind chime. You scared me! Don't do that. Do we go in through the cat flap? What's out there? There's a peephole. The house felt like it had always been here. Even the swing set was older than my mother. No. I don't like that. Every scary film has a fr flipping hanging tree, doesn't it? I knew that was a peephole. Is it this one? Oh. <gasps> We're climbing in through the cat flap. Oh god. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. <laughs> we ain't 11 no more. Alright. What's around here? Um, it's a bit too close for my liking. I don't know why, but I feel like it's very in your face. I guess it's because I'm not used to playing first persons recently. The power had been turned off the night we left. How long have we been gone? Oh, seven years. For the first time in years. Go on. I felt like I was home. But nobody else is here. Which is... Quite depressing. This definitely looks like the burrow. This is giving me Harry. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Oh, this is sad. I would hate it. I come from quite a big family. I would hate it if this. Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. <laughs> Except our cat, Molly. Oh, uh, of course Molly's the cat. Why is Molly such a cat name? Literally, my mum named me after a pet. Like, Molly is such a pet name. M one of my older brothers is called Ben, and that's a dog name. And Molly is an animal name as well. Any dog or cat is called Molly. Or her only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had Chinese a lot. Ooh, you gotta love Chinese though. Ugh, surely they stink after being there for seven years. I wouldn't like to, I wouldn't like to hazard a guess. How are you floating there? Oh, you're attached to the tap. I was going to say, maybe we are in Harry Potter. Maybe Molly is working her magic there. Um, Wasn't there something else we could explore here? No? Okay. Well, moving on. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just 
too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. <laughs> it is very cluttered. Oh my god, this is like amazing though. This is great. I would love to live here. Look how many books there are. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. He's only young. Date, October 2003, was missing. Born 1992. Oh, so he was 21. No, not 21. He was um, 12, 13 when he went missing. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. What happened, man? <gasps> Is, okay, it wants me to go in there. Quite clearly, I think. From the way that door is, like, shining at me, I think it wants me to go in there. Or maybe not. Is that not what the key's for? Oh. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Okay. How do we go back? There we go. <laughs> I was like, huh? <laughs> do you mean like buried just in the books that they wrote? The journals? Oh, what did I just do? Oh, there we go. Wow, the controls on this game are really Great cool. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara along with the rest of the house. That's quite terrifying. I don't think I like it. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Mom, you don't make things easy for us, do you? Mm, creepy music. Oh. Okay. Bye. Bye, Barbara. Nice, nice knowing you. I'm out of here. There's a lot of bluebirds and beetles and things of that nature. Get it? Nature. <laughs> I'm so funny. Uh, aw. Cute kids on the wall. Something was glowing. Dawn Finch living room. I think Dawn was our mum. What was glowing? Oh look, I can see my shoes. I can see my boobs! Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. Oh, great. So that's the original house. I mean, it looks a bit cool. Uh, I mean, it doesn't look quite as cool as the one we are in currently. I kind of prefer ours, not gonna lie. Sorry if this like game's making you ill. Um, it is a little bit like, like I said, it's very close. There's books everywhere. This is like my dream come true. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. These guys must have left in a hurry. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Aww. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. So we all wanted Edie to live with us. Where did Edie go without her wheelchair and her oxygen tank? Oh my goodness. Is Edie alive? I think that's the garage again. Edie! Oh no. I doubt Edie is alive. Don't think anyone in this family is still alive. Or at least that's what the game wants me to think. Right, looks like we're heading upstairs. Clearly Edie lived with us though, because there's like a stair lift and everything. Oh no. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. <laughs> so what? So they could, like, speak to each other? I don't know. Oh, God. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. This is cool, man. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Whoa. That must be the old house sinking at the bottom of the ocean. Who did this design on the wall? It's Lewis epic. told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Let's test it. Oh. We found it. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. <gasps> A secret passageway. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Yes. 
We're in like a little crawl space. Aww. Someone's had a tea party here by the looks of it. From the paintings it. on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. <laughs> Milton's written his name all over it. You can never get away with being in here then, can he? Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Ooh. Secret passage to another room? Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. What is this place? This clearly isn't our room because she's not like, oh, I remember like growing up here. Ugh. Weird dress. This is a bit overgrown. Lovely though. <gasps> this is- I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Okay, so maybe this is our room. Hello? Are you still alive? I see a poo in the food bowl. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. <laughs> oh, maybe this is Molly's room. Okay. Wait, I thought Molly was the cat. Maybe there Being was a person. For the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Maybe there was a person called Molly as well. She has her name written everywhere. I was not this, uh, this possessive as a child. Is that Molly? I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. No, when did Molly die? 1947. Maybe she was like Edie, Barbara. So Edie shared with Sven. Molly Finch. December 13th, 1947. Hi, Molly. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Don't eat, you gerbil. Don't turn to cannibalism. Oh, gerbil food. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Where is the gerbil? Does it, does it live in the drawer instead of its cage? We have a fish! Ooh, I like how it's changed heights. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. <laughs> you got lucky there, Chris. Tell me about it, buddy. You were almost eaten. You were almost fried. Cod fill it right there. I feel like you wouldn't have been uh, very filling. I feel like you're quite a small fish. Wow, it's dark in here. What's this? My Halloween candy was all gone. Oh. Damn it. I would have quite liked some candy right about now. What's that drawing? What's this room? There's lots of different rooms. Mom, can I come out now? She locked us in. Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. Okay. But I'm hungry. Mom, I'm hungry. I want to have food. I don't want to go to sleep. Oh. Oh, I cut my own bathroom. Dude, I they must be loaded. And eating. Not toothpaste. Dude. I should not have done that. I should not have done that. Berries? I ate a lot of things that night. Dude, you don't even know if that's real. It might not even be real. You just ate plastic. Can we vomit back up? Just in case. Nope, okay. Then I heard chirping outside my window. Hey, little birdie. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. How do you know that? You're I like six. Out for her. I thought she just pushed her off the window ledge then. Don't climb out. And Don't suddenly, be stupid. I was a cat. Oh my lord. I Puck tried off. to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Oh my god, literally doing parkour as a cat. I love my life. I love this game. 
Where did it go? Oh. Chilling. Like a villain. Hey, birdie! Come back! I just want to play with you! Birds don't like cats. I jumped and I almost got her. Oh my god, we're getting angry. We're an angry cat. Uh. How do I get up on the table? Oh my days. Where is she? I don't want to die. I could tell she was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. Oh. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. I gobbled her up. Oh my goodness! And suddenly, I was an owl. Oh, okay. First, all I heard was the wind. <laughs> then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Oh, do we go in the grass? Can we eat them? Where do we go? To the barn? Rabbits. There. <gasps> Rabbits. Rabbit. <gasps> we got him. Oh no. I imagine his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I don't want to watch. I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. Mm. Then I flew off to find something bigger. Molly, you're disturbed. You're a, a disturbed child. I don't want to share my name with you anymore. What is that noise? A mama rabbit. Get him. I don't want to look. Oh, not another one. She was almost too big to carry. Oh. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. <gasps> no, I don't want to listen and to this. And suddenly, I was a shark. You're gonna f obviously are you a land shark. Oh god, we're rolling, 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 rolling. <laughs> Seriously, what are we meant to do? We just got to flip. Get off. Get me into the sea. I'm literally a land shark. Land shark. <laughs> Parkour. I rolled off a cliff and into the ocean. Yay. Now. Okay. I was hungrier than ever. Get it. Is that a diver? It better not be a person. Is it a person? No, it's a fish. I, I hope. fat, juicy seals. Oh no. Get him. Where is he? Where did he go? Oh no. You see all... This is hard. I don't know where he went. Oh, it's like inverted camera. Get him, get him, get him, get him. This is like I watching- I tore off her flipper and it tasted really good. This is like watching a nature show. No, she left the blood trail. Oh, I'm sorry, Mama Seal. I grabbed on tight, but I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. Oh, when this I is... opened my eyes, everything had changed. Whew. What am I? I'm a snake. I'm a slithery slimy snake. No? Now I was a monster and I smelled people everywhere. This is hard, man. Oh, we're like li literally a snake. Go. Keep going forward. This is really hard. Oh no, I made a lot of noise. 
go. I don't know actually what the controls are. I'm just like guessing here. I was big, but I moved real quiet. Not really. Oh no, we're about to eat a person. I told you. Oh, thank God. It didn't show that one, did it? Oh yeah, show all the other animals, but no, don't show a human being eaten. I wanted to stop, but also, I did it. Sorry, not sorry. Oh, wow, it's quite loud. Sorry, headphone users. I feel your pain. I am also wearing headphones. We gotta go out the door, I think. Oh, can we come back? Okay, we can. Hello! After the last passenger, I was still hungry. And across the water, I smelled something new. Something I had to have, so I swam towards it. What is it? I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. Okay. Went into an old pipe. Oh, this is easier. I'm actually following it now. I'll have to do my own camera work. Such a chore when you have to do your own camera work. What the heck? That was weird. I got closer and closer. It's Molly. Oh no. Are you gonna eat my gerbil? Or myself? This is like inception. All of my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. No. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. Oh. It's gonna eat herself. Well, that was unexpected. I'm not Molly. sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Next, we've got to move on to Barbara. Go on, shut it. There you go. Molly, you a creep. No wonder you're wearing cat ears. Look, they're right there. Ariana Grande wannabe. Much. Please, girl. Someone's already been there, done that. But guys, I am going to end this part here because it's been long enough for a first part and we kind of explored Molly's story. I'm guessing we're going to have to explore everyone one by one. So it looks like Barbara's the next one. We'll probably go into her room next. But thank you all so much for watching this first part of What Remains of Edith Finch. I honestly wasn't expecting it to be that way. I'm a little bit shaken by the animal deaths because I'm a big fan of rabbits, um, but I'm sure I'll get through it. If everyone's like that, then I'm gonna become desensitized real quick. But thank you all so much for watching. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and want to see the next part. Also, as always with these kind of games, please no spoilers in the comments below or else I'll just have to stop replying to comments, unfortunately. So please don't spoil it if you've already seen someone play this game or if you've played it yourself. Just don't give things away because I want to experience it along with other people who may not have seen it. So keep spoilers to yourselves out of respect for more. But thank you all for watching and I will speak to you all in the next part. Bye guys!